I'm accompanying the first graders. That's a big deal, B. Can I come? No, you wouldn't like it. The words are way too cute. You might die of cuteness. Yeah, well, I want to die of cuteness. It's my favorite thing to die of cuteness. Bernadette kind of slowly reveals who she is. You know, the, the movie, you find out more and more. At first, you might think, you know, who is this woman? Why is she a little prickly? You know, what's up with her? Maybe almost on the cusp of annoying. And then we find out, like, oh, wow. She's got a history. It just kind of deepens the experience with her more and more and more. And I hope by the time she's kind of got it together and it's going in a new direction, you're kind of pulling for her. Morning, Lizzie. Hey, Mom. Do you guys remember when you told me if I got perfect grades all the way through middle school, I could have anything I wanted? I think it was to ward off any further talk of a pony. It's a very funny and painful look at a woman who was um, in a moment of chaos approaching an enormous change in her life. He's not sure what's going on with Bernadette. Bernadette is exhibiting some pretty odd behavior, but I think he feels like they need to work out their stuff themselves. And he's succeeding at a really high level at work. And I think he feels like the best that he can do as a father is to continue to do a good job at work. Please don't bother trying to find her. I have concocted a plan. Bernadette. She's not there. Audrey was so caught up in the neighborhood and local society. There's an uptightness about her that I really find interesting. Your hillside just slid into my home. My yard, my Japanese maples, the bird bath is practically in my living room. I think it's the moments in the film where you see Bernadette being in a way, most herself. She can more freely talk about her fears and anxieties to a virtual assistant than she can to her husband of 20 years. And she has no friends, so there's not even any opportunity. It's twice the challenge anyone ever imagines, with long stretches without sleep and exercise. Sounds like I've been in training for this for the last 20 years.